In this lesson, we will explore the new lighting analysis render element in V-Ray Next for Rhino, which provides the visual representation of the light intensity in the rendered frame. To start, let's open up the Asset Editor and make sure you've got Interactive Rendering enabled. Next, open the right-hand flyout menu and head to the Denoiser rollout, and let's increase the Update Frequency parameter to 100. Since the Lighting Analysis Render element is a post effect, we'll want the update frequency to be set to the maximum so that the analysis updates as frequently as possible during rendering. Now, let's click the Render Elements tab and scroll down to add the Lighting Analysis Render element. First, I'm going to switch the display mode from False Colors to Grid Overlay, which will display distinct grid points over the frame that measure each point's light intensity. Now let's start an interactive render, and in the VFB, switch to the Lighting Analysis Render element so we can see how our scene looks. You'll notice right away that the values keep changing. This is because we're rendering interactively, and V-Ray is still clearing up the image. The cleaner the render becomes, the more precise approximation you'll get of the light levels in the scene. Now let's do a few adjustments to make the analysis more useful. First, we can increase the number of grid points displayed in the frame by tweaking the horizontal and vertical spacing in pixels. Let's decrease the spacing in order to shrink the points closer together, which will make more room available for displaying even more values. Now you can also see that all of the values are a black color, which means that we need to remap the minimum and maximum values so that the color range displayed is more relevant to the light intensity we're getting. Looking closely, you can see we have values in shade here that are around 500 lux. So let's set the minimum value to 400. Now we'll see that the image has turned mostly blue, meaning it's all considered very low relative to the max value. Let's adjust the maximum value down some, perhaps to around 16,000. Now, you'll see that we're starting to get some slightly brighter blue and green colors, but the max value is still too high. Let's lower it again, this time to 6,000. All right, now you can see that we're getting a nice gradient range of blues, representing low values, upwards to reds, representing high values. Finally, we can also switch the display mode to false colors to see an even more graphic and visual representation. To help process the information here, we can also enable a map legend at the bottom of the render by checking on the draw legend option. All right. I'll give this a moment longer to render so you can see how the light levels look in the scene here. And there you go. Now you've seen how to set up the lighting analysis render element and get a nice visual representation of the light intensity in your scene in V-Ray Next for Rhino.